great to have you back. It's good to be back. Rebecca, you're back. We beat the Hawks, and they were city champs. <laughs> See, I knew you could do it. Alex, I want to thank you for that nice letter and drawing you sent to me. It meant a lot. That's okay. I like drawing anyway. Hey, hey, your team's waiting for you. See ya. So, where are you off to? I have an appointment at school. How are you doing? Really? Most of the time I'm fine. The other times? The other times, well... I see something and I think I have to tell Dad about that. And I remember... yourself time to grieve. The pain will go away, but it takes time. Thanks. The letter from you and Alex meant a lot to me. I was trying not to cry, you know. It, it happened to me when my abuela died. But there's nothing worse than seeing a grown man cry. Except maybe seeing two grown men cry. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, a smile. Laughter's the best medicine. So, you're going back to school? Oh, I'm going back. One way or another. Good for you. Are we going to see you around here? Emma had to hire someone to take my place. I'm sorry. I was afraid of that. But you'll still be giving guitar lessons. I'm still a paying customer. Good. I can pick up Alex's lessons where we left off. We need you badly. Alex can't tune his guitar, and I'm totally tone deaf. <laughs> the guitar sounds like someone stepped on a cat. <laughs> well, that should be easy to fix now that I'm back. Well, I should get back to the game. Right. And I have to go see my advisor. Uh, yo, maybe uh, Alex and I could buy you a ice cream cone one of these days. You know, when you, when you have time. I love ice cream. I'll find the time. Right. Bye. Oh, come in, Rebecca. I've been expecting you. I wanted to talk to you about school. Where things stand for me since I miss so many classes. And please, be honest. I've talked your situation over with my colleagues. I don't want to frighten you. But I have to be frank. The finals are going to be tough, real tough. If you don't pass, you risk losing your partial scholarship. You can take incompletes and repeat your courses next semester. Or you can study like mad and go for it. I'd like to try to take the exams. Well, I do admire your spirit. Maybe this will help you get started. It's last year's exam. I gave it to the rest of the class to look at. It's a good example of what to expect on this year's final. Thanks. Get together with your classmates, get their notes, study with them. You're probably not going to get much sleep, but you just might pull it off. I'll give it my best shot. Good luck. Thanks again. All my blues gonna roll away. Oh, I'm so sorry about your father. It was a total shock. It's nice to have you back here, Rebecca. My condolences on your father's death. Thank you, Malaka. In my country, we do not work for a time after the death of a loved one. We take time to remember. It sounds like a good idea. In the United States, sometimes we move too fast. Is everything okay at school? Can you make up the work you missed? My advisor says I could start over next semester or cram for the finals this year. So? You won't be seeing much of me for a while. I'll be in my room, studying. <laughs> Rebecca? We 
thought you might stay in Boston for Christmas. San Francisco is my home now. Oh. I'm going to finish school and write my songs. I'm going to make it happen. Here. Good for you. What are you doing for the holidays? Mm, not much. I'll be right here. Mm, you're going to be all alone. Malaku is going to visit some Ethiopian friends out of town. Oh, it'll be good for him to be with friends. I'm sure he misses his family. And I'm going home to see my parents. Well, Nancy will be here. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'll get that. You go study. Rebecca, you have a visitor. A male visitor. Who is it? Alberto. Just ask him to wait in the living room. I I'll be right there. I forgot how handsome he is. Rebecca, welcome back. I sure I've missed you. This is such a surprise. I just had to see you. I know things have been been very tough for you. And I'm sorry about your loss. Thank you. And I appreciated your beautiful flowers. Please, sit down. Well, that was the least I could do. Now... I want to help you get back into the swing of things. So, I have something here to cheer you up. Oh. Tickets to the San Francisco Opera. Best seats in the house. They're doing a mall and the night visitors. You know, the night visitors are the three kings and they're following at the start of Bethlehem. Yeah, that's very nice. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I'm sure I would too, but I can't make any plans. I have to cram for my final exams. A ton of schoolwork, huh? Yeah. I lost so much time because I'm... it's going to take every waking hour just to catch up. Well, maybe a little diversion might help. Look, if I fail my exams, I lose my scholarship. Now, I would really love to... And I'll take I... that as a yes. And you can see how your studying is going later on in the week. Thank you. Well, I've got to get going. Don't panic over your exams. I know you. I'm sure you'll do just fine. So, I'll call you later in the week. Okay. I'm really happy you're back. <sighs> Me too. Bye. Bye. Lucky woman! He wants to take me out Saturday to the opera. To the opera? <sighs> oh, very nice. Maybe you two will spend the holidays together. I don't think so. I'm not even sure about the opera. I mean, I have so much studying to do. Oh, what's that expression? All work and no play. You know, if I don't study for my exams, I'm not going to pass my finals. I don't know, Angela. I'm just so exhausted. It's probably just the trip and all. My advice? Go out and have a grand time. You'll be able to study better. Believe me. And Alberto seems to really care for you. I guess so. Well, it's time to get back to the books. Are you all right? I'm just overwhelmed by everything. <laughs> 